Every year or so, I have the challenge of describing what a new Ferrari feels like to an audience who never really will drive one. Here are some words. Red, low, flat, expensive. Ferraris have that new wealth smell. Ferraris don't arrive at the valet stand, but that they take the whole place hostage. The truth is, though, these cars drive unlike anything previously, from Marinello or otherwise. In 488 GTB, you see the full synthesis of high-speed control systems, from magnetic dampers to variable boost turbos to the rear diffuser flaps, and everything in between, all operating more or less transparently around the driver while he pretends he's Senna. I'm going to give you some metrics now. You may want a chin napkin. And remember, the car I'm describing is the first of the new line of 488, the starting point for the inevitable Spider, Stradale, and Speciale models to come. In other words, this is the dialed back version, on compromised tires, no less. Aluminum space frame and stress skin, mid-turbo V8 engine, two seats, and a little luggage up front. About 3,300 pounds. Figure a cool quarter million to start when they go on sale this fall. A 3.9-liter twin-turbo V8 putting out 661 horsepower and 560 pound-feet of torque through the smartest torque vectoring, e-diff, and traction control one could possibly hope for. Uh, you can throttle steer this car like you go downhill on skis, just sashaying the rear end back and forth. Irish setters don't point this good. Of particular note is the car's so-called side-slip control, a dynamic suspension system operating on the dampers to quell, understeer, and oversteer in real time. The cornering stability and confidence is fully ridiculous. Do you like making slow motion videos for YouTube? The 488 will perform the most lurid drifts since Ben-Hur. Zero to 62 in three seconds and 124 miles per hour in 8.3 seconds. Top speed, 205. From a dead stop, this car's engine can hit the rev limiter in upshift three times in six seconds. Bang, bang, bang. And every time, over the bright gnashing of the V8, the doo doo of the turbochargers, like laser cannons. The car's fear on lap time is 123, two seconds faster than a 458 Italia, and two seconds faster, if I recall correctly, than an Enzo. On a personal note, I know I was quicker in my later laps in the 488 than I ever was in the La Ferrari, the fear of which so clutched my heart. So, one more word, fun.